Hello, my name is Adam. I operate eBrandon, and over the next few minutes, you're going to learn how to post a classified ad amongst the 5,000 plus others in eBrandon's popular classified ad marketplace. The first thing you're going to want to do, which I'm guessing you've done already if you're viewing this video, is to go to www.ebrandon.ca through your web browser. And once there, click on the Classifieds tab at the top. And that will bring up the classified section of the site, which you may have already seen, you may have just heard about. Uh, you can see it's broken down fairly logically into all sorts of different types of categories that you can post your ad in. Uh, and then at the top here, you can see we have a few uh, what we call feature ads, which bring attention to specific ads that people have paid a little bit of money for to draw extra attention to. We'll talk a little bit more about them later. But uh, as far as posting an ad, what we're going to do is walk through a sample ad where I'm going to post an ad for a telephone that I'm going to pretend sell through eBrandon. So to get started to post an ad, once you're in the classified section, you move your mouse to the right hand side here and click on the link that says click to post an ad. And that's going to take you to a second page where you'll pick the, the specific category that your ad belongs in. So you can see uh, again, uh, and you'll probably want to spend a little bit of time on your own getting familiar with the different categories on the site, but there is a, a wide variety of them. In this case, since we're posting an ad for a telephone, we're going to post an ad under the category for electronics. So I'll click on electronics, and that brings us to the page where we actually fill out the specifics of the ad that we're going to submit to eBrandon. So we'll just go through each of these fields and, and fill out each thing. The, uh, the first is just your name, and then uh, the next is your phone number. Uh, one thing I guess with your name to keep in mind, that this is the name as it will be shown on the actual classified, so if you don't want people knowing your last name, just put your first name. Uh, but uh, with the phone number, uh, the phone number is optional. A lot of people do prefer still to phone when, uh, when inquiring about an ad, but uh, you can also put an email address in the next step and use that as the way people contact you. But for this case, I'll put the eBrand office number. The next step is the email address, and it is critical that you put an active email address for reasons that we'll get into later related to confirming your ad. In this case, I'll put in a sample email address that I put together for the purposes of this. Uh, almost forgot what it was. Classifieds at yahoo.ca. Okay, so I put in the email. The next stage is picking the city you're in. We have uh, not just Brandon, but a number of uh, towns within a certain radius of Brandon available in the list. If your town isn't there, but you are within uh, about an hour of Brandon, just pick the, the closest town, but be sure to mention in your ad which town you're actually in, so people reading the ad know uh, whereabouts you are. Next step is the name of your ad, and in this case, this will be when people are browsing the list of uh, hundreds of ads or thousands of ads or whatever category they're looking in, this will be the first thing that, that draws attention to your ad. So you'll want to be fairly specific. So in this case, I will put, uh, I'll put business telephone in excellent condition. And then after that is your opportunity to put all of the specifics about your ad. Uh, so the, the condition it's in, uh, any other details relating to the sale. Now, there, there really is no limit as, uh, as far as how much you can type, but just keep in mind that people are browsing a lot of other ads, so they'll probably only want to spend a few seconds deciding if, uh, if your ad's interesting to them or not. I'll be fairly brief here just so uh, I don't waste too much of your time. But uh, I have one business telephone excellent condition. Uh, asking price is $40 or best off. Okay, so since I've said $40 is what I'm going to charge, the next field, do you put the uh, what you're asking for the item? Now, in this case, I said $40. If, if you're not asking for a specific amount, uh, you just open to offers. This field does require you put a number in, so at least uh, be sure to put in a, a zero in that case, and then mention in the actual description of your ad what, uh, what the specifics are as far as what you're selling it for. 
Uh, next step, uh, cost, just clarifies that uh, this ad is free. Now, uh, with the eBrown and Classifieds, 99% of ads are completely free of charge. There is a charge of a $99 flat fee to sell a house, or if uh, you're either a, a person out of your home offering a service, such as lawn mowing or hair cutting or you name it, or somebody who's selling a, a, a product that you sell multiple times over as a, as a business, there is a 995 charge for that, as well as a 995 charge for posting a job. But everything outside of that is completely free. Any furniture, any uh, any vehicles, any pets, uh, a anything you can can think of to do with 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 home use. Uh, so, anyways, after that, uh, the only other thing you want to do is pick a picture to associate with your ad. Now, it is a very good idea to pick at least one picture, just because when there are this many ads in the system, you want to stand out against everything else that's there. So to stand out, I've prepared one, uh, one sample picture here of my phone. Let's pick that. And these pictures just need to be in, in JPEG format. Uh, you can pick up to four and it doesn't really matter how big they are. The system will automatically do all the resizing to size them down to what it needs them for. So anyway, I've picked my picture. So the next step is uh, pretty simple. I'll just click on the button that says click here to place your ad. Now, uh, note if this was a paid ad, which uh, I, I went through the, 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 the criteria for paid ad versus free ad. If it was a paid ad, this button would say click here to place your ad to, uh, and proceed to payment. And it would be very clear as far as what you'd be paying and then that kind of thing. And it would redirect you to a PayPal payment page where you could pay by, by credit card or, uh, or, or through a PayPal account. But in, in this case, as like I said, with 99% ads, this is a free ad, so I'll click here to place the ad. And we wait. Sometimes there'll be a little bit of a wait at this point while it takes all of the pictures that you've selected for your ad and uploaded. You can see I just picked one small picture, so it's already done. So now at this stage, what, uh, what the system has done is it's, uh, it needs to know that you are who you say you are just to, to make sure that we have all verified ads in here. So what it's done is it sent a, a very, very brief email to your email account that you specified in the previous step, just uh, putting in a link that you'll need to click on to, to confirm that, that you have posted the ad and received that email. So I'll just log in to the, the test email account I set up for the purposes of this demo. from E. Brandon, and I just can read the email briefly, but basically it just says you need to click on this link to confirm your ad. And the, co the confirmation went through A-OK, -okay. so at this point uh, every ad that's been submitted and confirmed just needs to be reviewed briefly by, uh, by E. Brandon's staff and, and, and verified. And normally that takes uh, one, one to two business hours, sometimes as much as, as three or four. But uh, at this point, your, your job is done. Uh, you just wait for the ad to get approved. And then once it's up, it'll be amongst all the other ads in the classifieds. Um, now, just one other thing I will show you. Now that your ad has been confirmed, the system will send you one more email. And in that email, it uh, that will give you an ad ID and a password for your ad. So if you, uh, after the fact, your item is sold and you want to go in and indicate as such with any Brandon, or uh, if you want to change the description of your ad or add new pictures, change your pictures, what have you, you can use this information to log in and change your ad. And all you do to do that is uh, take that information, go to the classifieds page, and use this login information in the right hand column. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, as soon as your ad is confirmed, you'll start receiving hopefully a few emails and phone calls and sell your item as quickly as possible. If you have any other questions outside of this, feel free to click on the contact link at the top of any page within eBrandon. What that'll do is send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and hopefully help you out. Other than that, happy selling.